Hey, 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 friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Crystal, and in this video, I am going to restore this Pennsylvania house buffet. I picked this up for free. I cannot believe it. It was covered in paint, and my original intentions were to actually just paint it again until I discovered all the amazingness that was under the paint. I started out by using my carbide scraper. It completely scraped off as much paint as I possibly could off of the top. And then I started working with my sander and an 80 grit sandpaper. I originally thought that this was going to be a veneer top, but once I started sanding, I realized it was Solid wood, completely solid mahogany. Here is the progress so far. I just used my carbide scraper and I been scraping off all the paint and sanding off all the paint with an 80 grit sandpaper and I'm pleasantly surprised to find complete solid mahogany and these gorgeous inlays all throughout everything it's really exciting I don't have a ton of space in here, as you can see, but like the paint finish is just failing on this. This is the old paint finish, and you can see I can just scrape it off so easy with my fingernail. So I had all intentions of just painting this, but once I discovered that this paint was failing, I couldn't just paint over it, so I had to remove the paint, and I found just like gorgeous wood, gorgeous inlays, and it's really quite something. So, change of plans. I am going to restore this instead of just painting it. You can see all this beautiful inlay. This is, you know, actually wood itself. It's not painted on. Um, it's all gorgeous inlays. So I'm gonna strip this. I'm gonna work on stripping today. And I hate stripping. So it should be fun. Okay, here's what I'm using. using a chip brush. About 15 to 20 minutes of letting my paint stripper sit on my drawers. I went in with a plastic scraper and scraped off the stripper residue and the paint, as much paint as I could possibly get off. Um, and uh, just took that and discarded it. And I I guess I missed recording. I can't find my footage. I don't know what happened. But it is really important to use mineral spirits to clean up any paint stripper. And it also deactivates the paint stripper. So make sure you clean your um, pieces really well after you have used a paint stripper with mineral spirits. And then I also did the same thing with my hinges, and these actually had keys 
um, to lock the doors and the drawers, but which were also covered in paint. So I just threw them in a plastic container with some paint stripper, let that sit for a bit, and used a wire brush and just scrubbed off all of the paint and the paint stripper and then I used mineral spirits to clean that all off around the edges of the trim so I went in with a dental pick and just kind of scraped all the paint out if there was any paint that was stuck in the grain I scraped that out as well with my dental pick it was a lot of scraping on this piece it was just it was a lot of work, but I think it was really worth it in the end. A Roanoke stain by rust -Oleum. I just wanted to tone down the red a little bit, but I really wanted to keep that rich, dark feel of the mahogany wood, but just tone down the red a little bit, just so it would fit into, you know, more more homes and be a little bit more neutral. I'm just using a old cut up t-shirt rag to apply the stain and I always make sure I go in the direction of the wood grain. A little pro tip here. If you ever have any issues with over overspray or paint drips, maybe you had an upsy on the side of a drawer, the easiest way to clean this up is with some lacquer thinner and a rag and a little bit of elbow grease. Just put your lacquer thinner on your rag and it usually comes off fairly easily. Sometimes if you have like thicker areas, you might need to scrape it. But this I have found works amazing. There was tons of overspray on this piece. I could tell it had been sprayed and I didn't want to completely strip the inside of the cabinet. So I just used this little trick and my paint overspray cleaned up super easy. I had an area where some of the inlay was missing. I wasn't really sure exactly how to repair this, but this is kind of the solution I came up with. I used some spackling and some milk paint in the color Venetian yellow and a little bit of some Rust-Oleum gold metallic paint to kind of match the color of the inlay that was already there. Then I just took a popsicle stick and filled in the inlay and wiped off the excess. I had to wait for it to dry and then I had to fill in a little bit more and I did have to go in with an artist brush and some of that Venetian yellow milk milk paint to kind of darken it a little bit and touch it all up. But I'm not sure this is the best way to do this, but this is my solution. It worked well. Um, yeah, that's what I did. There actually was some issues with the veneer on the drawers and on the cabinet door. So I wanted to do something to kind of conceal it and cover it. I found these stencils on Amazon. I laid them all out, tried to figure out which one I wanted. Finally, I picked one and I went in and I taped it off with some painter's tape. I don't want anything to shift or move during the stenciling process. So I'll make sure everything is kind of taped down securely. 
And then I just took a sponge and some black latex paint and I just tapped everything on. Stenciling can be a tedious pro process and this didn't take me a long time. It took me uh, the better part of a day to completely stencil this whole entire piece. I will make sure I link the stencils that I used down below in the description. I bought the six inch ones, so just in case you want the same size as me, I think it comes in a six inch and in a four inch. I used a matte polyurethane by Verithane and a roller and I rolled on my sealer. I did I think four or five coats on the top and then I did three coats on everything else. When my final coat was dry, my fourth or fifth coat, I went over it with a extremely high grit. I think it was like 400 grit sandpaper that I wrapped around a block of wood and I just lightly sanded it down because it does have kind of sometimes has a rough feel when you're rolling it on and that just smooths everything out. But I do really love how the matte finish makes it look natural and it feels natural. It doesn't have a super high shine to it or anything like that. So I feel like that was a good choice for this piece. So one final thing that I did that I also did not record, I just took an artist brush and I went around all the trim areas with some black paint just to kind of darken that a little bit and give it a little bit of a low light and then there was also some damaged veneer around there and that just kind of masked all that and concealed it. But that is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. This took me a really long time to complete this. Over a few months there was a ton of stripping involved but I really feel like it was worth it. It turned out gorgeous in my opinion. I hope you guys like it. Let me know down in the comments what you think as well as remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video so you can see more content in the future. Thanks again, you guys. I hope you all have a great day and bye.